Greetings, YouTube. This is Yvette, and welcome to our channel. Blessings to you all. And I'm actually going to take the time to say welcome to all of our new subscribers. YouTube doesn't make a way where you can say to a subscriber, hey, thank you for subscribing, because it's really a blessing to have you join, because some of us are not, you know, YouTube's not like really, it's not my job. I just kind of have a ministry where the Lord shares with me and I share with other people because God has done some ama truly amazing things for me. And I just want everybody to be a part. And then I also encourage other people to start a channel because you can bless somebody else. We're not going to make it in this race unless we're helping each other because there's some things that we're each learning that helps us get over you know, helps us get by, helps us to understand. And if there's anything I could tell you that is worth you believing, or I think the greatest thing I could say to you is that God really does love you. He really is on your side. He wants you to succeed. He wants to bless you. He wants you to come to him when you need him. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to know that no matter whether it's good or bad, he's in there. So I teach children's ministry at our church and we were teaching the kids about Elijah, some stories in Eli about Elijah where, um, um, Elijah went and told um, King Ahab that God was going to um, judge him for letting the people of God worship his wife's God, his Jezebel's gods. And uh, he didn't like that, neither did Jezebel. And then um, the rain had stopped. It didn't rain for three years. And Jezebel was really mad at him. And she was out after him to go get him and kill him. And so one of the things we talked about, remember... Uh, he runs and he hides because he's so afraid and he just feels like, you know, I'm, you know, she's out to kill me and I'm the only one. And God said, no, I have 7,000 prophets who have not bowed the knee, bowed, you know, bowed down the bell who are serving me. So it's like, you're not the only one, you know, eat some food, get some strength and get up. It's like, you don't, you, you know, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we're teaching the kids that, and one of the things we're asking them, I said, so, so when you're having fun outside, is God with you? And they say, yes, he's with you. Well, when you're um, not being nice to other people, is God with you? Yes, he's with you. And so we ask them all these things. When you're eating dinner, is God with you? Yes, he is. If you're having a birthday party, is God with you? Yes, he is. So the kids know that God is with them wherever they go, no matter what they're doing. How come we, as adults, don't understand this? God is so on our side. He so loves us. And when I say on our side, I mean that when we are walking in covenant with him and we're doing as we've been told and we are, sometimes that means that you have to put up with stuff that other people do to you. You have to bless them. You have to love them. Learn how to pray for your enemies because your enemy is being used by the enemy. They're being deceived. These are people who God created who are being deceived by the enemy. And he's using them to come against you. But greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So God is greater than Satan. So you don't have to worry about nothing, no matter what the situation looks like. You can say, like Jesus did, Satan, get behind me because you're trying to mess up my program. So remember, Peter was trying to tell Jesus, oh, Jesus, don't, no, 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 don't go. And he said, get behind me, Satan. Satan was trying to use Peter to discourage Jesus from coming to do his job on earth. And Jesus straight told Peter, get behind me, Satan, because Satan was using Peter. And Jesus loved Peter. So you do the same thing. Get behind me, Satan, because God's got this. You are not a part of this program. I don't care what, it lo what your situation looks like. And I'm telling you, I am praying for a very special blessing over my household and my family. And I'm trusting and believing God to do it. I am so excited about what God is going to do. And I'm excited about what he's going to do in your life. So blessings to you. Turn on notifications. I'm trying to make sure that I get things out um, and do um, at least a weekly video because it takes a lot of time. And you guys, I'm going to tell you up front, I don't edit any videos. I don't have time to try and be pretty and cute on YouTube. That's not what this is about. This is about survival. It is about making into God's kingdom. It's about being prepared for the things that are going to take place because we're living in a time where we don't know the season here where i live it was sunny in the morning a raining in the afternoon cold at night what in the world's going on this sun how does all this go 
You can't tell what day it is by what it is. Yesterday, it was beautiful. Last night, it was cold. And that's not typical of us. Today, it was like uh, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, cold. You cannot make sense of it. It was hailing so hard here the other day. I'm like, what in the world is going on? And I will tell you, I think the rain is beautiful and the hail is beautiful. But it was coming down. It's like, what season is this? It's supposed to be sunny with flowers. No, you can't tell. And all across America, weird things are going on in the weather. He told us in the last days, we were not going to know the season. We wouldn't be able to tell, you know. Um, and how do you know things are going on? Listen, when everything is, when, what, when good is said it was evil, and when evil becomes good, you know the Lord is coming back. And every kind of vile sin people want to do, it's okay. Whatever goes, goes. And you are wrong if you speak the word of God and put somebody down who is or put somebody in their place who is not living according to God's word. That's when you know you're living in the last days. If these are the last days, you guys, we need to be prepared. And considering that our life is not that long, you never know what the day or the hour. People shooting up. We don't know if you safe going to the grocery store, you know, to school, to work. You know, out in the middle of the street, somebody might get mad and just pull, start shooting. It happens. So we have to be prayed up. And I will tell you, I'm going to pray God's protection over all of us in the name of Jesus, Lord. I'm praying that every single believer, Lord, that is out there, every single person who sees this video, Lord, I'm praying your protection over them, God. Protect their families, Lord. Give them victory. Let them understand that you are there and they can call on you and have a personal relationship with you. And if you don't know Jesus, here's how you know him. You need to repent of your sins. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me for all my sin. I accept your son Jesus as my salvation. Amen. It's that simple. And the Bible says that if... You know, if you repented, it says heaven is rejoicing right now because you just repented. So welcome to God's family. Now that you're in his family, you are a child of God and you may go to him boldly in the name of Jesus and present your, your prayers to him that go up to him like incense and it's sweet smell. And he just wants us to pray, but don't treat him like he's a gimme, gimme, gimme God, because I'm gonna tell you the definition of wealth is that you have everything you need. So if you have food on your table today, you are wealthy. Tomorrow, when he provides food for you at your table, you are wealthy because every wealthy person is eating dinner, okay? So just tweak how you, how you think about wealth. It don't mean you have to have millions in the bank. It means that God is taking care of you and gives you exactly what you need, all right? So welcome to the kingdom of God. Blessings to you, and I'll see you guys later. Amen.